Greetings. This devotion is for the 8th of March, and our reading for this day comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 10 through 23. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid, and that foundation is Jesus Christ. Now, if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. If the work is burned up, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person, for God's temple is holy and you are that temple. Do not deceive yourselves. If you think that you are wise in this age, you should become fools so that you may become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with God. For it is written, he catches the wise in their craftiness. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are futile. So let no one boast about human leaders. For all things are yours, whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death, or the present of the future, all belong to you, and you belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. So, over time, Many churches, and St. Andrews is the same, right? They, they boast a long line of, of pastors. And St. Andrews, like many churches, if you're not familiar with St. Andrews, you walk in the one door and there is basically a picture wall showing the history of, of the pastors that have been there. Again, you may all know other churches who have done the same thing, right? Now, the thing is about these clergy, they're not all the same, are they? Right? I'm not Pastor Laura, who was not Pastor Adamai, and neither should it be that way. Right? Paul, Paul talks to the Corinthians in this way. Uh, they had a few leaders in their short time as a church, Apollos and Cephas and, of course, Paul, and none of them were better than the other, they were just different. You know, Paul talks about the glue that holds them together, or, or the foundation, if, if you will, that it absolutely has to be Jesus, and, and everybody builds on top of that foundation, right? Everybody's, everybody's building is going to be a little different. I'd right? have a little different taste. That's how it is. But the focus always has to be on the foundation, has to be on Jesus, not on the leader, but on the foundation. Let us pray. Heavenly God, we give you many, many thanks for the many, many leaders you have sent us. And indeed, God, they're varied and different styles. But mostly, dear God, we are thankful for Jesus and his message of love and grace. Help us, dear God, to always, no matter what, cling to that message of love. Heavenly God, we also pray for an end to COVID-19. We pray, dear God, for all those who have been affected by that, people who have lost loved ones, people who are suffering now, people who are struggling to get vaccine, and people on the front lines 
who work to help their people. Heavenly God, be with all. Bring an end to this virus. It is through Jesus we do pray. Amen. Thank you.